What up, YouTube? It's Misery Hates Company, and today I just recently found that there's actually the ability of doing something with your shards for your companions, and this is not at all what it used to be. The old system was that you had to spend a very specific shard to get a very specific shard of a higher tier companion, and everyone hated it. Apparently, they have changed that system, and there's actually a completely new one in the workshop that I just happened to stumble upon today. This very much was in the patch notes from our most recent patch, but with all of the fun things coming, magic coming to the game, the training grounds, I totally forgot about companions. Until today, and I found this, and I played around with it, and I actually think this is very, very beneficial. So I'm gonna show you what I found and how I'm maximizing my account. In fact, I'm actually gonna do it in front of you guys in this video to show you how I'm actually gonna be using my, my shards in real time. Now, if you, this video is in particularly helpful to you in any kind of way, make sure you like the video. And if you wanna see more videos like it where I show you how to maximize your benefits on your account in Marvel Future Revolution, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm here to give you good content for this game. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video because I think this is gonna help a lot of you. I know it's gonna help me. Okay, so in the workshop, you actually wanna go down to the fourth tab, the, the companion tab um, with the on screen so you know exactly which one you're looking at so i'm gonna tell you guys right now that i would not use the special companion skill card uh at all that is a very expensive rate for 10 to, to 1 uh, from a rare card to a special one and there are some very good rare companions that i feel like a lot of people are sleeping on in fact i'm gonna make a video about it later this week on some of the rare companions that could actually be meta if you're not already using them in the current uh dimension duels as well as omega wars if you want to see that video make sure you like this video and tell me in the comments that you want to see it um because i found one today that i'm actually going to start using all right so next up uh, you'll see the special companion shard and the rare companion shard so the rare companion shard will start at the bottom um you're going to select it it only costs gold which is great you take the common companion uh shards and make turn them 10 into one to a rare companion shard. So while it is 10 to one, um, I'm actually seeing benefit in this because I have a lot of these companions already maxed out and I mean a lot of them. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys in real time, like I said previously, just how many rare companion shards I get from this in a second. Um, so then if you actually have any of the, um, the rare companions maxed out, you can use their shards to get the special companion shards. Now this one is still 10 to one and I would encourage you only do this if you have them maxed out. And I actually don't think I have any of these guys maxed out, so I won't be doing this one as of yet. But again, it is a progressive system. So the more you get the common companions maxed out, the more you can use these rare ones and help translate them naturally and organically into rare companion shards. Again, because you can't do anything else with them, so you might as well capitalize on this opportunity to increase your power for free. I mean, it costs gold, but I mean, now gold is pretty easy to get almost everywhere. So let's go ahead and take a look at this for my account. So it does look like the max you can combine at any one time is a thousand for a grand total of 100 rare companion shards, which is pretty awesome. It's gonna cost a decent penny now that I actually have it all pulled up. That is half a million gold. Again, gold is not as hard to come across as I feel like it used to be. The training ground is a great spot to grind gold as well as, I mean, basically anything else. But um, let's go ahead and do it and let's see how lucky I get. All right, so 16 of that one. All right, all in all, I thought I had this one maxed. Oh no, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and fill in the rest. Um, and these two are not, these are the brand new ones that we just got recently. All right, so between uh, the last round and this round, I'm gonna get 173 total rare companion shards for 1,732 of the common companion shards that are completely worthless to me. You can't get rid of them for anything outside of doing this, so you might as well. Again, if you guys are like me and didn't, and didn't realize this change happened, you might actually be sitting on a decent amount of um, shards that you could use for other companions to net you higher attack and other stats that could make your character stronger. I mean, don't sleep on this. Make sure you're taking advantage of it. So let's go ahead and see what we get. All right, so some more. Now let's see if that net me any upgrades for my companions. All right, well, while I couldn't upgrade any of my guys this go around, I'm definitely gonna make sure I stay on top of this so that I can maximize my unused shards. 
um, because you get a lot of shards nowadays from a lot of different places. So make sure you do this. If you found this video helpful, make sure you go ahead and like it for me. It costs you nothing, but helps me out a great deal. It tells the YouTube algorithm that uh, I'm making decent content and it's in like a virtual high five to me. Um, also, if you want to see the best way to grind the Sinister Six uh, invasion that just recently came out make sure you check out this video right here because i actually show you the tips and tricks on how to do it faster even at a lower power level so check that video out right now